the news in details. Biafra will be declared before the second quarter of 2020. Israel prophet declared. An Israeli prophet, prophet Emperor, has prophesied the coming of Biafra in 2020. He joined the League of Prophets, including Prophet T.B. Joshua, who have prophesied the coming of Biafra and he specifically stated the Biafra will come before the second quarter of 2020. According to Inya Anthony, Prophet Emperor prophesied that the Biafra liberation will happen in 2020 and all people from southeastern Nigeria gathered in a place holding Biafran flag, singing and dancing. He added that Biafra will become a nation in 2020 and other great nations will justly to partner with Biafra for rapid global development. Today, Namdekano is regarded as one of the most popular freedom fighters in Africa, ranking in the League of Nelson Mandela, Samuel Nkrumah and others. Kano started the Biafra struggle as a director of Radio Biafra in London under the leadership of Raf Owazurike. The story of Biafra movement changed and became globally recognized after Namde Kano took over from Wazurike. IPOP's eye have, however, remained on the ball to achieve the ultimate goal of restoring the Republic of Biafra that they believed Britain unlawfully made defunct. Thank you for listening to this news. The viewers, I am not surprised at the prophecy just unleashed by an Israeli prophet. I will say it that no, no prophet has ever given a false prophecy concerning the actualization of Biafra. And that is a sign and a clear proof that Biafra is a core republic. It's not a republic that forcefully formed itself. It's a republic that is called to exist. Christ has a hand in the republic. Christ knows about the republic. So why are we disturbing ourselves? Why can't we do what we believe that is right? You see, Biafra as a country, it was not just brought, brought out, no. This is a country that was suggested through the influence of the Holy Spirit. And since then, the fight for the, for the actualization has been on. But because of the greed and selfishness of our leaders, they kept denying the Biafrans of their rights. They kept pushing and deceiving them. But now, Christ is out to disappoint them. Christ is out to help Biafran actualize its purpose. If you want to really know, one of the very good observations is the prophecies. One. Two, the recent happenings. What is your observation concerning the recent happenings? I'm not just talking about the recent happenings in Nigeria, but I'm talking about the recent happenings in the whole of Africa and international countries. 
the whole of Europe countries. Biafra has been established in almost all the European countries and they have started being celebrated. On the 20th of this month, there is going to be a one million man match. Let's forget the story we are hearing that it's going to be banned. No way. The international country has given Biafra the go ahead and the support. And meanwhile, they have always been standing behind Biafra, no matter what. So, all of what uh, have been coming up is, are all fallacies. The one million match, million man match is going to take place. And no man or woman is going to stop it. I am not speaking because I'm a Biafran, no. I'm not a Biafran. But I only say what I felt that is proper and right to be done. You see, for a prophet from an international country to still give an intersecting message of a prophet in Nigeria, you can see that the prophecy of this Israeli intersects with the prophecy given by Prophet T.B. Joshua. There is a lot of similarities in their prophecy, and you can see it how you can see it um, appearing or coming to pass. We may not know, but it's gradually coming to pass. If you look at our recent updates, you will know that yes, it's gradually coming to pass, but some hoodlums are trying to stop it and by 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 threats and violence but believe you me christ is going to disappoint them you if you want to really know that yes it's already at the doorstep look at the the deceits the deceit which many of these leaders in president momo Buhari administration are trying to cause deceiving some evil men who are in the political seats in Nigeria, trying to deceive them so that they can be against the IPOP, making them to bring up ideas which I believe that cannot even be concorded or accepted by the IPOP members. IPOP is a group that is focused. They know where they are heading to. They know their goal and they are set to achieve it. So my advice to IPOP is this. My advice to them is not to be distracted. They should remain absolute. They should remain focused. They should remain unshakable because their leader, Mazin Namdekani, is an unshakable leader. Is a courageous leader. Is a leader that can face it even when it's when it's is coming to, to uh, in form of a violence. He has never fought back, and that is why even as as an ordinary radio broadcaster of of uh, Radio Biafra, he ended up over overpowering Uwazirike and end up becoming the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. You can see, and since then, Biafra has been going to the top, growing to the top, and getting to its uh, home of actualization. So I will urge my fellow Biafra friends to join hands with Mazi Namdekano. Give him that support because he has been making lots of positive moves. He needs your support. He wants your support so that together you both can be able to achieve this actualization. There is no doubt tribulations will come, trials will come, temptation will come, but you should not give up. You should be focused. Keep moving because it's already in actualization. 
What's your comment concerning this news? Please don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.